Hey guys, it's your girl Future Sailor Car here. And if you haven't noticed, if you haven't peeped the background, it's different than my usual backgrounds of me sitting, you know, on my porch outside because I am at the hotel. Currently at the hotel, getting ready to ship out tomorrow. Like, that is wild to me. Tomorrow, crazy. So I'm in the process of doing a shipping out vlog so stay tuned for that but right now I'm going to do a what's in my MEPS bag or what I, what did I pack to bring to boot camp slash MEPS so without further ado I'm gonna hop right into it because why not you know why not okay, so it looks like a bunch of nonsense right here but it is a bunch of nonsense so let's start right here so this is just the change of clothes I'm gonna be wearing to MEPS tomorrow this is a pair of sleeping clothes for tonight. You know, underwear, socks, yada yada. And this is a headscarf. Um, I heard that you can bring a headscarf. I'm definitely gonna try to bring one to tie my hair down tonight to help keep it neat. That'll definitely save me time in boot camp if I don't have to do my hair every morning. So I brought a wide tooth comb and a hard brush with a whole bunch of ponytail holders and these are the extra long extra thick ponytail holders because I do have thick coarse hair <laughs> then I brought some toothpaste and toothbrush and I really just brought this because you know I'm staying in the hotel the night before and I'm gonna need this when I get to boot camp because it's gonna give me a brand new toothbrush and toothpaste when I get there but I can't walk around next with funky breath so I brought this for tonight this is my makeup bag. I will go through this in a minute. So stay tuned for that. Excuse me. I hope you haven't heard that. That's embarrassing. I bought me a watch. I recommended um, a watch and it has military time on it. So hold on. Boom. 1845 military time. So this has a alarm on it. I don't have that little alarm icon right there, but all it does is beep every hour. It does not go off. So I'm trying to figure out how I can, you know, program this watch before I get to um, boot camp tomorrow. And I have some body pins. Just a few. I don't need a lot right now because as y'all saw, my hair is in braids right now. This is just for, you know, when I take my braids down. And then by then, I'll probably have bought a whole new pack. So this is just all I bought for now. And in this folder, um, this is, you know, the navy folder that the depth guide comes in. Oh, not the depth guide, the start guide that it comes in. So I just have my start guide to go over, you know, the general orders. Um, let's see in here, ranking recognition, I think. Um, that song, the Anchors Away song is also in there. I brought a copy of my con, edit that out. But, um, yeah. This is just some paperwork from saying I paid some past speeding tickets and everything's taken care of. And this is a copy of my transcripts. Um, I am going in as an E3 because I did go to school. So I want to make sure that I definitely have E3 on my, um, not, not my transcript, but my contract. Because I don't know if you guys watch um, other um, YouTubers who are in other branches, but there's this one girl called her YouTube channel is Popular Loner. She's awesome. Y'all should definitely follow her if you're interested in going to the Air Force. But she um, was supposed to go in at a higher rank too. I think she did, but the map station that she was at, they couldn't find her transcripts. And she was about to go in as an E1 because they couldn't find the transcripts and didn't have proof of her education. So her recruiter had to drive from wherever he was at to the map station to bring her her transcripts. So I was like, hell no, I ain't got time for that. I'm just going to have my copy my transcripts ready just in case. And this little card holder has my social security card in it. I'm not about to show it to y'all because y'all not about to get me like that. Nope, nope, nope. So that is that. Okay, so boom. On to the makeup bag. The dirty makeup bag. Y'all don't judge me, okay? I put a lot of stuff in here. So this is just a travel size deodorant. Again, this is more because I'm staying in the hotel, not really because I need this for boot camp because like I said, they're going to give you um, hygiene products. I have um, some makeup because women, you are allowed to wear makeup for pictures and for graduation. So I just brought my Sephora 
fuck? And I, I can't even open it. A Sephora, um, hold on, man. A Sephora thing, and I took out the mirror because you're not allowed to bring any type of glass, including mirrors. So I took it out, and it's pretty much almost done. Like, I plan on throwing pretty much this whole bag away after boot camp if I have anything left. So I have this, I have this dirty makeup brush, I mean, not makeup brush, um, beauty blender for my foundation. Don't judge me, I'm throwing it all the way after boot camp. I'm only gonna use it two more times. Then I have my um, brow powder for the brows. What is this? Oh, this is some face cream. This is Face Nair. This is what I plan on using to, you know, um, clean up my eyebrows throughout boot camp. You know, I'll just do this on holiday routine when I have the time. So I just put um, a few pumps in this little plastic container that I got from Walmart. You can also use a contact lens case if you have one, but I don't have one because I don't wear contacts. And it comes in a pack of two for a dollar. And this one I um, have my foundation in because I wasn't about to bring that big thing of foundation for the little bit amount of makeup I'm going to be allowed to wear. So I have that um, mascara. Boom. It's probably old and janky. I'm throwing it all away anyways. I have this lip gloss from that I got from Rue 21 and it's pretty much a sheer lip gloss. Well, it's not sheer. Well, it is sheer. It's a tinted lip gloss. So it just has a slight color to it, but it's not like this dark color. It's really sheer and yeah. So I'm going to wear that and give my lips a little bit of color and the makeup brushes. Boom. All that's going to straighten the trash afterwards. And then I have my shampoo and conditioner, a travel size. Um, I have really thick, really curly hair, so I don't know if the type of shampoo that they're going to have at um, boot camp is going to be, it's going to work for my hair. So I was so happy when I found out that they have this in a travel size. Like it's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil online, and I freaking love this. And I was so happy when I found out that they had it in travel size. So I'm going to use this, I mean I could just have my mom send this to me um, after, but I'm ready to take these braids out, I'm taking these braids out, I don't want to have to wait for the package to come because I already have to wait until Sunday for holiday routine. So boom, I have eyeliner, and I have this, I can get it out, this anti-itch spray for my braids with olive oil, I don't even know how to say that. Shea butter tea tree oil. But I'll probably use this even after I take my braids out because it looks like it's a great moisturizer for your scalp. I know having your hair in a bun all those throughout the week will dry your hair out, especially with all that gel. And I went to a ho hotel this past weekend and they gave me this. It's a calming mist that you just like spray on your pillow, I suppose. It's supposed to like de-stress you and you know, make you calm. So I'm hoping they allow me to bring this as well. So that is it. Oh, my makeup wipes, of course. It's a used pack. There's only like four makeup wipes in there. That's really all I need because I only wear makeup twice. And that is it. That is all that I'm bringing. All of that fits in the little navy bag that they give you at MIPS. So all of that fit in here. I have some candy in there as well. Some lip balm in my wallet. But yeah, that is it. That's all I'm bringing. Yeah, candy because I'm a fat ass. Okay, what is this stuff? Oh, this is some more um, stuff that the hotel gave me. Soothing balm for aching feet and limbs. I'm sure this is going to come in handy. Hopefully it's small enough that they let me keep it. So yeah, that's all I'm bringing. Thanks for watching, everybody.